Hey there, do you Foursquare? A lot of our listeners and viewers of ITTV or Into Tomorrow know that I'm always checking into places, at least the cool ones, and I was very proud of getting the I'm on a boat badge. So we have a few minutes here to chat with Dennis Crowley. He's the CEO of Foursquare. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, log on to foursquare.com. Dennis, how are you doing, sir? Good, thanks for having me on the show. Our pleasure. Now, let's explain to our viewers who don't know about Foursquare, how would you explain what it is? Yeah, so we always think of it as like trying to build applications for mobile phones that make you know cities easier to use and make the world a little bit more interesting to explore. And so people use Foursquare to check in at places, and they'll check in at bars and restaurants and coffee shops and parks and museums. And when you check in, you earn points and rewards, and there's a little bit of a game behind it. Um, but in addition, like you get to keep track of all the places that you've been to, and then you know you're sharing your location with your friends, so they're learning about the experiences you're having too. Right, and one of the things that you said in a panel you were on, actually he made a presentation here in Barcelona, was that users get to learn about themselves a lot. So yeah. what is it that we're learning? Well, I think you can start to learn about some of their, like, you know, the places that you've been to, places that you might want to go to, places that you've long since forgot about. And, you know, we see a lot of users that check in two or three times a day. And if you take that data over, you know, a six month period or even a couple months, you know, you can start chopping it up in interesting ways. And you can start suggesting like, oh, because you've been to these restaurants, maybe you'd like to go to this one. Because you hang out with these people, maybe this is a place that you'd be interested in. That's a good point. With Into Tomorrow, we get to travel a lot, and I've gone to pre previous check-ins to see, oh, yeah. what was that restaurant we went to, either in New York, Vegas, yeah. one of the, like that. So, and oh, actually, our listeners on Facebook are interested in knowing if you checked in here in Barcelona. Well, yeah, I've checked in everywhere I've, I've gone. I was um, you know, once I landed at the airport, it's the first thing I did, and then you know the hotel, the bars, and the restaurants. We've been having meetings and just meeting up with people. Um, I was in Barcelona, I think last last June or so and so it's fun to come back because you know I can go through my history and be like wait where was that place that was like kind of down this random alley in the old in the old part of the city and like Foursquare is leading me back there and so it's helping to make my experience of this city better the second time around. Now you guys make checking in fun there are other location based services but you guys make it fun with the badges mayorships in fact I have a, b a battle going on with a friend back in Miami of yeah. our mayorship of Dunkin Donuts yeah. so yeah, it's uh, you know, it's one of the things that we just decided to throw into the app just to see like what people thought of it, like this idea of turning life into a game. And when we launched, we thought, I don't know, we didn't think people would be that into it, and it's kind of taken on a life of its own. And I think it's it's an important thing. It's like, it's not the point isn't to make this great game. The point is to make checking in playful and to make your interaction with places and the reason to like in the relationship with places a little bit more playful. And we're finding that that like is kind of a uh, a nice segue into teaching people about the social utility that you can get out of checking in. I love how you guys integrate uh, inserting pictures now in your yeah, check-ins. Yeah. I love that. I go back to places where I took pictures. Uh, there have been some concerns our listeners have shared with us about privacy issues. If you're checking in and you're, you're not home, obviously, yeah. people have said that there have been burglars. How do you guys handle that? Is that an issue for you? Not really. It's kind of like if people have a nine to five job, I mean, there's, most people know that you're not at home during the day. Like if you're, if you've got your mobile phone and you're sending pictures from the airport, they know you're not home. So, I mean, it's, Foursquare is really no different than sharing anything else online. You know, um, we are very careful about people's privacy. So, like we, in the Foursquare app, you'll see uh, that you know we're, we're, we ask you every step of the way: Do you want to share something or not? They make like, hey, if you're going to check in, do you want to share this with your friends? Yes or no? Do you want to share this with Twitter? Yes or no? Do you want to share it with Facebook? Yes or no? So we made it really hard to accidentally share your location. That's true. And if you have friends that are going to go and get into your house and yeah. steal stuff, I mean, what kind of friends are those? Exactly. So yeah, you got to find new friends first. You got, you got bigger problems. <laughs> Good point. Real quick, um, a follower on Twitter asked, um, "Will there be any integration with Facebook Places?" Only because he says he doesn't have that many, he doesn't have that many friends on Foursquare right now. Do you guys envision integrating with Facebook Places at some point? Yeah, we've thought about it. It's um, you know we've got so much stuff on our roadmap right now that we're really just focused on you know the stuff that we're trying to build. And you know we've we've had some integration with uh, with Twitter, and we're pulling some you know we're able to push to, to Facebook. We haven't done specific Facebook Places integration yet. Very cool. And you guys are expanding into tomorrow. And in fact, I want to ask you this question real quick. After interviewing you, do I get to get the I interviewed the CEO badge? Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, no badges specifically tied to us. I wish I had my business cards on the back. On the back of every Foursquare employee's business card, there's a there's a badge, and if you put all of them in a row, they're like puzzle pieces. Then you can unlock like the Foursquare groupie badge for meeting six employees. That's cool. awesome. I wish I had cards to give you though. All right. Well, you check out foursquare.com. You can use that on your BlackBerry devices, Android devices, iOS, and I love it. So <laughs> good luck with whatever you guys are up to in the next few months. Cool. Good stuff coming soon. I can't wait to show you guys. Right. Nice talking to you. Thanks so much.